Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 8, 31 to 42. To the Jews who believed in him, Jesus said, If you make my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples. You will learn the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered, We are descended from Abraham, and we have never been the slaves of anyone. What do you mean you will be made free? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, everyone who commits sin is a slave. Now the slave's place in the house is not assured, but the son's place is assured. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descended from Abraham, but in spite of that, you want to kill me because nothing I say has penetrated into you. What I, for my part, speak of is what I have seen with my father. But you, you must put into action the lessons learned from your father. They repeated, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do as Abraham did. As it is, you want to kill me when I tell you the truth. As I have learned it from God, that is not what Abraham did. What you are doing is what your father does. We were not born of prostitution, they went on. We have one father, God. Jesus answered, If God were your father, you would love me, since I have come here from God. Yes, I have come from him. Not that I came because I chose. No, I was sent and by him. The Word is your home. Do we really study the Word? You Catholics do not read or study the Bible, which is the Word of God. This was said over 50 years ago, and I was quick to defend us saying that we read at every Mass or other liturgical activity. I had to check myself then. Did we really study the Word? I had to acknowledge, back in those years, most of us would read but not fully study it. Yes, some of us had scripture in order to do the overseas examination, but many of my classmates admitted it was just for the exam and we got a grading. Fast forward, and I recognized my need to live in the Word and so to make my Word my home. What is the correlation? A home generally brings comfort, shelter, sustenance, teaches truth, gives answers, and so much more. So does God's word when we used faithfully. Thank God. God's word is our home. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.